guys welcome back I just did a video but after I was done a subscriber sent me a, a video on a youtuber that uh, just did a video himself on three asteroids that are supposed to hit this month and uh, I was gonna share on an asteroid I don't know if you guys heard of uh, I think it's supposed to hit on the 23rd or something a different one <clears throat> And uh, I'm going to link this uh, you, uh, video in my uh, description box. You guys can go see it. But also this one, um, also on the one I saw about the incoming asteroid, they say it is, it is as big as a bus or something like that. And uh, uh, it's supposed to close, come really close also to the Earth. So I don't know if it's one of the ones that he's talking about, but I'm going to link them anyways. So uh, you can go watch those. There is so much going on. For these asteroids to be coming our way in this month <clears throat> is so exciting for us. Everything is happening this month. Everything's falling into place. And when I heard this, I had to come share this with you guys because asteroids and... Um, uh, uh, solar flares they actually changed a lot of uh, the clim climate and climate or whatever in our atmosphere which causes the earth to uh, uh, to shift I believe in different ways that causes all these uh, disasters and these uh, uh, the heat you know like uh, the flares cause all the heat and it brings the days to it makes the days hotter uh, all this works together on the disasters that God is bringing upon the earth right now before the rapture. But these asteroids, <clears throat> when they pass the earth, I I just believe, you know, they go so fast, you know, that they interfere with the earth. That's what I meant to say. They interfere and they cause havoc on the earth, and which goes along with everything else, the... Um, <clears throat> solar flares <clears throat> and all the other things in the atmosphere that are uh, you know different uh, are different than usual that are happening you know so all this is biblical this is what is going to trigger everything that's going on uh, I even believe that California will have an earthquake this year I hope you know hey if it has to wake up our uh, unsaved loved ones God's got to do what he's got to do, but he is faithful and he will take care of us. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just excited because I'm ready to go. Uh, I know we all are. We're excited, but I want to really just uh, share these um, asteroid videos with you guys that were sent to me in the one I got because this is so prophetic we are so there you know we might not get the day right or the hour and we're always uh people are always coming at us for that but who cares that when we do go the, and they don't go some of them that that we have spoken to don't go they're going to remember how many times we've told them that we were so close we were so close so amen you know but i do believe that a lot of those that are backslidden uh, are going to come back. All this, all this stuff going on, God, you know, using these uh, uh, asteroids and these solar flares are going to bring them back because it's going to get worse. Like uh, one of my um, subscribers just sent uh, to me also that uh, we're going to be persecuted a little bit longer, you know, before the rapture, which I totally believe, but that persecution can be fast, you know. It could be family, it could be... Uh, it, you know, the enemy coming at us, you know, with certain things, you know, with this, uh, all this chaos that's going on, but it won't be long because the Lord promised me in my first rapture dream that, that you guys, most of you guys have seen that he said, I would, he's coming back for me that I, I wouldn't die. And that's for a lot of us. Like I said, it, God just doesn't do say that for one person. So we will not, I don't believe we're going to die. I believe that the rapture will happen and we will go in the rapture because that's a promise that the Lord told me in that uh, dream I had. And and th there's no way that that could not have been God. I would have never thought of something like that on my own, just, you know, uh, in a dream, you know, that it's just 
too, too good to be true. <laughs> so it is true. No, but it's so good, you know. Uh, it's so good, you know. It's amazing is what I meant to say. I'm sorry. But let's do communion real quick again. Because every time I do a video, I want to do communion. Tomorrow I'm going to do another one. Uh, because I know that I'm going to have a lot of other things to talk about. <clears throat> of everything that's going on. I'm just so excited. But uh, let's do this. This asteroid is exciting. Uh, and I, I want you guys to watch these videos. I watched this one right now and it was amazing. So let's do this. Father, we lift this up in remembrance of your body that was broken on Calvary over 2,000 years ago. For every um, sickness, every infirmity, every disease, and everything, anything that comes up against us, Father, any poison, you take care of it all. It cannot hurt us, Father, as long as we believe and we receive. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord. Father, we lift up this cup in remembrance of your uh, blood that was shed on Calvary for the remissions of our sins, Father. As far as the east is to the west, they are no more. And we give you all honor and all glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you, guys. Uh, I was just so excited. I wanted to come in and, and say that. Oh, uh, one other thing. There was something I forgot. Um. This was really strange to me. It says, the federal government, CDC, and updated Amazon terms or something of service says uh, they uh, will cover, they will cover a zombie apocalypse. I don't know what that means, but there is a scripture in Jeremiah 19, 9, that the Lord says, I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and their daughters and they will eat each other. And I think that uh, is after the rapture, you know, all the stuff that will happen. And uh, I think, uh, you know, the enemy knows what's going to happen after we're gone. So I'm guessing that, um, you know, that they know what's coming, coming because all our uh, food supply and all this food, you know, the crops dying and all this stuff that... That we're not gonna the you know the earth is gonna be so hotter than usual that we're not you know a, there won't be a lot of um, food on the earth to eat especially with all these cattle and all these other animals just dying and falling out of the sky the birds and all that so I think this is all biblical like the Lord says uh, the tribulation period all this is gonna happen in there. Uh, the enemy has a lot to do with it, but sometimes God has to use them for the seven years, just like he used in the Bible time. He used, um, you know, other armies to come up against uh, certain uh, certain cities or nations because they were being, uh, they had left God out of the, those nations, so God had to come and and there had to be judgment. So it's the same thing here. God is using them again uh, in our generation. And all this has to happen to, to line up with uh, the seven-year tribulation that's coming. So uh, I'm guessing this could be a part of this zombie apocalypse that the CDC is preparing for. And Amazon has a part of it. So all this is coming together. Uh, that's why I tell all you that are, are watching and, and get to watch my video. It's so important to, to uh, accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. And all it is is John 3.16. You know, uh, Jesus, uh, God sent his son into the world to die for us. All we have to do is ask, uh, say, Lord, forgive me. And God forgives us. He loves us that much because nobody wants to be left in this. Where, you know, just reading that scripture is is horrible you know so um anybody out there that doesn't know jesus as their personal lord and savior and you want to get right you know uh do it before it's too late the, you know what today could be your last opportunity you know if it's not even the rapture you might walk out the door and something could happen to you you know so uh it's so important to always uh you know always uh you know uh stay strong in the lord and if you, if you don't know the lord you know, just right now where you're at, say, Lord, forgive me. I want to be a part of, of you know, of, of the family of God. I want to be a part of you. I, I love you. I accept you. You know, I need a Savior. Here I am. Save me. I'm a sinner and I need, 
I, I need you to forgive me, Lord. And you know what? He'll come right there where you're at and he'll, 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 he'll forgive you because that's who he is. He loves us so much. He knew us when we were in our mother's wombs. So right now where you're at, just say, Jesus, here I am. And you know what? You're saved. And if you did say that, welcome to the family. Uh, we love you. God loves you even more. Find yourself a place to fellowship and come uh, and uh, where you can uh, uh, be encouraged and learn more about who Jesus is. Or Zoom, like I said, Zoom. You can find a Bible uh, study on Zoom too. Love you guys and I will see you next time. And yes, please leave uh, any prayer requests in the uh, comments and I'm going to put you on my list. Love you. God bless and I will see you guys uh, my next video. Bye-bye.